Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is Benny, a true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout New California, where last time, Volt 18 pretty much bang on schedule to my mind, went to hell, there's a giant pile of corpses, I made a surprisingly large number of these by myself, to be honest, it turns out despite being a nerd, I'm also a total flipping badass, which is marvellous, and my next job is to go and chat to the Overseer, who may have gone a little bit off the deep end because yeah his entire family's been killed by the enclave and now he's like hiding somewhere and not being very very useful so that's fine i'll go take care of that for you we'll see what comes up next shall we oh before i do though do not forget that yeah actually i've been finding a couple of mods dotted around so i quite like the 10 millimeter it's pretty good and i've got tons of ammo for it because loads of these guys had 10 millimeters and i have picked up Extended mags and pistol laser sights. So marvellous. So now this thing has got itself. Well, it's supposed to be producing a laser. It's not much of a laser, to be honest. You know what? It's got reduced spread. That'll flip in dough. Ooh, and check out this place. Okay, this was just supposed to be like the terrarium, but it does kind of look quite a lot like an overseer's office. It's got a proper little overseer's desk there. Lardy flipping dar- Oh, I like this place. Right, now, when people say you've kind of lost it, how lost it are we talking about? Okay, so he's sobbing hysterically, he's got a gun, and he's written his last will and testament. So, okay, pretty bad. Gloria, Dr. Bishop gave me the bad news, the cancer is back, we decided to keep it a secret for now until after the election, Bragg still has us on the ropes. Oh, you are really not having a good day, are you? Ah, uh, here we go, though. If Bragg pulls anything tomorrow night, and he meant after the election, not like a straight-up enclave massacre, I want you to give the data on PB to Jason's brother, Sean. It's in the Terrarium mainframe. They should know what Rossman learned about their father. Tell them everything. They deserve to know no matter how terrible it is. Right. So, what is going on here, precisely? Also, I'm just going to take this gun, because it's probably a good idea you don't have one of those right now. Oh. Right, little red button that's normally covered up with a key next to it. Right, probably don't push button. Hello, Overseer. Oh, it's you. You're alive. What about the rest of the lower apartments? Your brothers and sisters. Okay, you know what I was saying last time about the slightly uneven voice acting? You come in. He's been diagnosed with cancer. He's leading this society and there's been a massive revolution. His wife and his children are all dead. He's sobbing next to the nuclear button that's clearly been opened. He's thinking about ending it all, destroying everything. Oh, how are you? You doing all right? Yeah, it's all right. It's just a Tuesday, you know. <laughs> Would you believe they didn't make it either? Are you going to sound more sad about that? So it's true what they say. Everything we've been through with those tribal kids, all the, all the sacrifices of the Wasteland Scouts, it's all been for nothing. Okay, yeah, maybe, guys, you might need a new voice actor for the Overseer. This one's not doing the job. And we, did we kill Bragg? Oh yeah, we did kill Bragg. Sorry, I forgot that we'd killed Bragg, yes. Though, we're still missing the silver-haired lady. Um, Chevy, I think her name is. We won? You call that winning? Did you see what they did to the vault? They ruined the atrium, blew up half the lower apartments, crippled hydroponics. They're not done yet. They're trying to smoke us out. But we're not going to let them. Those enclave sons of bitches. Yeah, this is really a very important character for the story. This guy needs a voice with a lot more gravitas. And it needs to be showing a lot more emotion. So... Are you alright? Because I'm guessing you're supposed to be sounding really hysterical and off the rails, but actually you just sound like you're having a bit of a dodgy Thursday. I'm not, kid. Haven't been for a long time. Been fighting lung cancer for years. Now this... Bragg killed my son. He killed my wife. Two hundred of us are dead out of three hundred the night before. Even now there's gunshots echoing through the walls. We're finished. Kaput. There's no beating this. It's better this way. Oh, yeah, that's the big red button then. He's thinking about the big red button. <laughs> you know, it's funny. You know what this giant tomb really was? An experiment. All those big TVs down in the atrium, the cables and the computer lab, all of it. It was a test. A great big ruse. 
They just wanted to see how long it'd take us to crack to push this big red knob here and end the shame of it. But here's your answer, vault Tech. 160 years. And some damn fools gave us a good reason to use it. Ah, so that's the full nature of the Vault experiment. We knew that they were supposed to be constantly broadcasting images from other vaults, which would suggest that Vault Tech had presupposed the other vaults had gone badly, which does actually... Wait, that doesn't make a huge amount of sense, because if Vault Tech was presupposing every single other vault would fail purely to broadcast it into this vault, then that would suggest this was the only vault that was the real experiment, and all the others were designed to fail. Or if the other vaults had succeeded, then this vault's experiment would be for nothing, unless this was a backup test in the event of, oh... Oh, I'm not sure that makes a huge amount of sense. But yeah, okay. The actual experiment was supposed to be if all the other vaults went to hell, which it was deemed very likely they would do. It was just a case of when and how. How long would it take these guys to use the self-destruct that they knew they had? Right, so I guess we're getting out of here then. Though, small problem. The Enclave themselves are trying to open the vault door, which means I'm guessing there's an Enclave kill squad right outside. So... Bit of a rock and a hard place situation you've put us in here, Overseer. That's good, kid. Real good. No one's gonna trust you. All your tribal friends have joined the Stars and Stripes. But I'm gonna give you a chance. Evanson has the main door control key. He'll unlock the big cog. Alright, so... I'm guessing you don't fancy coming with us because of the dead family and the cancer and the failure of your society in diddly diddly day. Go on, run! Escape while you can! I'm gonna go down with the ship, where I belong. What a world. Alright, job done. He goes back to sobbing. Live free or die. Anything I can help myself to? You've got yourself a... That is the strip bobblehead there. I'm not sure why you've got a strip bobblehead, given we know at this point in history, the NCR and no one in it had ever actually been to the strip. Well, I guess these guys, well, the society was set up pre-war, so... Uh, yeah, maybe it was built using components produced by house. I suppose that's fine then. I suppose that's okay. Can't use your computer. Right. So, time for me to try and gather up as many people as I can gather up and then actually naff off. That, ooh, I've got a loudspeaker here. But I can't do anything with it. Gotcha. Right, probably best we head back the way we came and pick up everyone. Like, oh. Right. So... Things starting to explode a little bit there. Don't know if I'm on a time limit here. Possibly I'll just drop a save just in case I am. What the hell happened down there? Christian shouldn't just... Oh, did he? Are you... Are you sure he did? No, he didn't. I took his gun away so he specifically couldn't. <laughs> but apparently he just figured out a way to do it anyway. He just like built his own gun. Right, I'm guessing he was supposed to pick up the gun on the table. But I was specifically worried he might do that. So I took the gun so he couldn't. So... Apparently, he just figured out a way to do it anyway. He was very, very clever, that guy. He also set the self-destruct. Jesus. Grab everyone you can find. Tell them to make a dash for the main entrance. All right, so can you actually open the door? Because the overseer thought you could. The door will open automatically when I give the signal. I'll meet you at the main entrance. Get going. All right, and that is the... Ah, the elevator key. So now I can use the elevator again, which hopefully, therefore, is actually still working. So he's going to get these guys out, and that means I need to... I need to retrace my steps, presumably. So if I go this way, I'll get back the way I came. So I'm going to go pick up uh, Jamie. Me and Jamie seem to get on fine, so that'll all be cool. Oh, never mind. That's all locked away now. Right, I thought I was retracing my steps to go and get Jamie. Are we not getting Jamie? I quite like Jamie. She seemed all right. Ah, the door that they came through. So that'll lead straight back into the atrium in that case. Well, that's fine. I'll have to just nip back through to the atrium. So I'm guessing there's going to be a few more people to take care of first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got more explosions. Plenty more explosions. Uh, Enclave Patriot. You know what? Take all of the ammo. We'll need it out in the world. Uh, just got to find myself a way out here. Here we go. Door to atrium. Spot on. Now, the last time I came through this place, there were some friendlies. Oh, bloody hell. Yes, you guys are friendlies. I thought I saw some... Oh, bloody hell. The entire security team is also coming this way. Did I just see red up there? Yes, yes, I did. Hello up there. Do we have a shot at you? Yes, we do. You interested in maybe... Okay, it's not a great shot. Excuse me. Excuse me. Come over here. 
That's right, you just try and flip and shoot me. I've brought a lot of flipping friends. Oh, hello. In fact, they're over there. Hang on. Who's fighting who right now? There's big, big amounts of... Oh, there's enclavey stuff. There's a lot of enclavey stuff right here. Right. There's a few people... Oh, you're unnamed. Okay, you don't matter. We'll just finish you off. That's fine. We'll just get right up to you. Right in the head. Hope for a critical if we're lucky. No matter. We've still done some good work to you. And I've got friends helping out as well. So put a few more. Uh-oh, we've got we got more coming in. Right, guys. I'm going to need your help because we're trying to fight our way to... Oh, yes, of course. We're fighting our way to the security door. Bloody hell. I'm just going to keep dropping saves, by the way, because New Vegas was not meant to have this many enemies on screen at the same time. It was flipping not. And then that guy just ceased to exist. Right, gotcha. Also, I want to remind you that in the little cutscene at the beginning of this section, they did specifically say, Oh yes, I've got a hardcore group of people who were totally won over to this rebellion. And there were like four of them standing next to him at the time. <laughs> Where did all these people come from? Apparently he had like a hundred people left over ready to join at a moment's notice, who up to this point had no idea that they were part of a secret enclave kill squad, but were totally up for joining it at the slightest provocation. Well, anyway, we seem to have cleared out, yeah, most people for the time being. So, we do not want to be heading out just yet. I need to grab everyone I can first, but all the pathways have changed. So, uh, that's the condos over there. This was just, uh, no, that's entirely blocked off. Okay, what can I access? Hydroponics is what I just came from. So, that doesn't matter. So, yeah, that's hydroponics right there. Utilities is blocked off. I need to get myself down to the lower apartments, I think. Because, yeah, there's definitely a few people who were alive down there. And it seems like that's still open for the time being. Alright, so, you... You have one name. Is one name enough for you to come with me? You also have one name. Not you. Right, let's start off with Jennifer Hale. She did a marvellous job as FemShep, so we'll start off with her. Hello, are you ready to come with me now? What the hell is going on? Why, why is everyone in a panic? Okay, now if you were listening closely to the message that's on repeat coming over the loudspeakers, you might have noticed the self-destruct, Jen. Bloody hell. I shouldn't have bothered coming back for you. We need to get out of here now. Let's flipping go. Oh, so we're going outside? Into the wasteland? I guess so, because we're kind of lacking in options. It's either that or explode, Jen. I'm not so sure I want to go. This is the only home I've ever known. I'm not like the others. I don't know how I'll survive out there knowing my family is gone. And I am the Guardian of Vault 18. How long have I been the Guardian of Vault 18? Apparently I'm the Guardian of Vault 18. So as a result of that, ah, was it because I was the one that personally killed Colonel Bragg? So therefore I gain a special perk that gives me a bit more authority with these people. So, all right, fine. I've killed Bragg, Vault's destroyed, nothing left. Come with us. I'm the Guardian of Vault 18, apparently. You, you're right. I'm sorry. I'm glad that son of a bitch is dead. Let's get out of here, wherever we're going. All right, so that's one person. Are you actually my companion? Yes, you're my companion. Good, 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 good. So does that mean I can like access your inventory and whatnot? What is it? And wait here, never mind. Okay, so we don't get any like proper companion controls with you, but let's just keep you coming with me. Hopefully you've got a weapon of some description. If not, I've got like 17, not you. Uh, right, Officer Mark, would you like to come with me? Grab anyone you can find to follow you. Get to the elevator before the reactors explode. And you too? I thought the Patriots were good kids. I never thought they'd do something like this. Right, so you guys don't want to come with me. Oh, I really hope he doesn't want to. If he's willing to follow me, I'll take him, I guess. Down with this shit. I'm staying right here. Oh, thank goodness he's still refusing to follow me. Right, well, you can just stay here and explode then. Screw you. All right, next up, if I can go through these doors to the upper levels, I can pick up Jamie and the guy in the gas mask who speaks too loud and whoever the other guy was, hopefully. Here we go, straight in here. Okay, let's start with Jamie because she specifically said... I'll come with you, just like, you know, come and get me when the time is right. Well, the time's pretty much right now, Jamie. Let's go. What the hell was that sound? I've never heard this alarm before. 
Can no one except me hear the loud automated message about self-destructs? What? How the fuck did that happen? What are we gonna do? We're going to leave the vault through the do Everyone is a bit on the thick side. Listen, I need you to grab Eric and have him run with you to the vault entrance. Or you could just come with me. Yeah, you just come with me and then we'll just go and grab Eric together. It's fine. Holy shit. It's actually happening. All right, we'll be right behind you. All right, so if we got ourselves a Jamie? Right, we've got ourselves a Jamie. And she has got a working rifle. Good, so Jamie should actually be quite flipping useful. Now that we've got Jamie, hello. What do you want? Hello, wh where are you going? Where are you going? Eric, are you... Are you just with me now? Reactor self-destruct initiated. Right, I think Eric's just with me too automatically. And what about you, extremely loud gas mask man? You need to get to the hydroponics lab with the other survivors. Evanson will put you to work. No, we already did that bit. Like, you already did. And it killed Bragg. And now we're evacuating because of the loud message that apparently is just playing in my head because no one else can hear it. Do you really not want to come with us? You need to get to the hydro. No, he doesn't. He just doesn't feel like coming along. Fine. Right, well, I think the only other people I need to pick up are, aside from, yeah, any equipment I need to grab on the way out. Yeah, it's the robots and also uh, Kira, who are both in the robotics lab, which means now's a good time to fight our way to the elevator. And I've got some friends to help me with the push, so this should all work out nicely. Oh, and I think I just picked up a little perk over here in the atrium. So we actually get up to level four. Right, so we're into the point of the game where I'm murdering a lot of people. Let's get some guns up. Guns do seem useful and ammo does seem plentiful. Repair's probably not bad. Science is, wow, science is already very, very high indeed. Uh, speech is not really working for me because, yeah, there seem to be more charisma checks than speech checks, which is not too surprising. Okay. What else do we need in that case? Probably best... Actually, you know what? Probably best we take that down by five and get lock pick up to 50. Just so I can do average locks. That's okay. Looks like it's all the standard perks here. So, yeah. I'm level four. Time to take educated. Educated is, of course, extremely valuable. Marvelous. Right. And before we head on, let's just have a little loopsy roundy here. So that way led to the gym. That's on fire. So we're not going that way. I've checked all the other doors. They're either broken or I've been down there and picked up survivors. Can't get upstairs in the computer lab. So that just leaves this direction over here. We've got ourselves... Hang on. Yeah, the elevator's right there. The clinic's at the end, but I've already ransacked the clinic. Wait, hang on. Where's Rossman? Is Rossman supposed to be here? I mean, Rossman presumably hasn't left the vault. He can't have done because uh, he didn't have the key. Evanson's got the key. So is he like up here in like one of the admin rooms or something? Hang on, I'm just going to have a quick search around this area in case Rossman's floating around somewhere. Are you a... Yes, you're a patriot. But I'm about to shotgun you in the face. So I'm hoping... There we go. That takes care of you with my good old hunting shotgun. Right, have a little loopsy roundy. Help myself to all of the... Oh, you had a baseball bat. That doesn't work out well for you. That leads into... Ah, that's back into hydroponics. That's the side door. So that's not the way we need to go. Isn't the overseer's room somewhere around here? I think that might be through here somewhere. Yes, here we go. I've been here before. This is totally the overseer's room. Now, the overseer did have a secretary, but she doesn't seem to be here now. And I don't have the overseer's key. Ooh. I wonder if I'd actually waited for him to shoot himself or if I'd actually, you know, left him his gun so he could shoot himself. Whether possibly I could get into his office at this point. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe. Well, doesn't matter. Seems like there's nothing else floating around here. So, that's the admin. Then just head around here to the clinic because if there's one place Rossman's gonna be, it'd be... Ooh. That room was not open earlier. I swear it wasn't. Also, Mr. Healthy, would you like to come with us? No? you just like to... Right, thought not. Okay, then. This room was totally not open before. Anything that's actually here that's important? No. Just some medical braces and knives. Fine. I thought we might find Rossman here, but apparently not. Oh, also apparently Jason Star Christensen wasn't in our bedroom. He was just visiting for the game. Because he's here. And he's dead. So... Did you have any form of... Nope. He had no explanation on him as to who he was. I'm guessing 
He was named Star because he was one of the Star children, i.e. the children who were found out in the wasteland, the fate of their parents being a little bit on the unclear side. But then he was adopted by the Overseer, so therefore he was Star Christensen. I'm guessing it's something like that. Right, before we go in the elevator, one more place to explore, which is, uh, yeah, security office is down in this direction. We've got ourselves... Ooh! Hello! Oh, you've only got one eye! And if you've only got one eye, that means you're Chevy. So I'm hoping for a critical here, and bang! And bang! Oh yeah, that hunting shotgun. That does the flipping job right there. So, completed. Apparently I had a quest to kill her. I had no idea, but apparently... Ooh! I'm glad I did. Project Brazil development notes. Also, there's a key to the security ammo hold door, which is very, very bloody useful. Right, so, free the prisoner in vault security. So, we've got ourselves another friend here. Oh, hello! Who are you exactly? Aaron Jin. Who's an Aaron Jin? Because I don't remember running into you before. Damn. Yep. I'm hit. Are you? Damn. Okay, um, <laughs> would have thought he'd have more to say, but all right then. Also, there's just some water and bread here. Uh, we've got ourselves, ooh, tons of grenades, tons of batons, brag secret case. Ooh, plasma grenades and an enclave officer hat. Don't want that though, I'm not the enclave. And, ooh, hard locked. Oh, darn it, no, it was only 50 that I got my lock pick up to, not 75. So sadly... I can't open that. And I did check his body. There wasn't a key on it. So, ooh, hang on. Volt 18 pipe works. Ah, by any chance, do I need to use this to get upstairs because the elevator's diddly diddly something? I'm guessing so. And, I mean, is Aaron the prisoner? I'm guessing Aaron's the prisoner. Uh, use the key. So, ah, I found the prison. So, who's the prisoner? Or was it, it must have been Aaron. But if it was... Aaron, how do I... No, don't run into the cells, all right? When you're inside an enclave facility, do not run into the cells, you stupid... Oh, hello. What... what are you doing here? Were you the prisoner? Are you on their side? Whose side are you on? <laughs> Shall we just maybe shoot him? It might be easier if we just shot him. Right, so, great. It's Johnny Matheson. Not everyone you save is going to give a shit. You want something just like they do. You want it, buy it, take it. Right, you know what? I've decided this guy just dies potentially because he's a dick and seems completely unappreciative of the fact I just actually saved his life. How about you get the fuck out of my way, darkness? Yeah, I've decided. I think we're making an executive decision here. There we go. Couple of shots to the head right there. Down you go, you stupid bastard. Oh, good. Those guys actually agreed with me. And I've officially defeated the Enclave. Was he the Enclave? Apparently he was the Enclave, despite the fact he was in, like, Enclave prison. Still, these guys don't seem to mind. They say that he got what he deserved, which is marvellous. And he's actually got himself... Ooh, a riot shotgun. That's like my shotgun, but better. Right, well, I'm glad we did that then. In fact, I believe I do actually have some, yeah, weapon repair kits. Let's actually get that thing fixed up, like, right now. Ah, one more, though. Reactor. Isn't that where Rossman was going? All right, lads, slap on the Radex. We're going in. Oh, I've got no Radex. And no Radaway either. Oh, marvellous. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is gonna be... All right, um, happy thoughts, people. Happy thoughts. Rossman. Oh, flip. Everything's a little bit on fire. Okay, pass the fire. Let's just check if we can find and save Rossman right here. Okay, um, uh, yep, lots of rads. Lots of rads. No one's on fire just yet. I'm now radiation poisoned. I'm not too surprised. I'll take some ammo. What is even good? That was a weapon repair kit. Screw it. I'll just leave it be. Right, can I even make it to the reactor on time? What's this area for? Because I was supposed to be going through one of... Well, okay, this is, this is, yeah, this is quite radioactive. Rossman! Rossman, are you in here? No, that, that's a Protectron. Right, is, is Rossman in here? Is anyone in here? This is, this is quite on fire. And then that is, then there's a door to the upper level. Right, okay, I'm still, was that the, wait, hang on. Was that the same door I just came through? No, I don't think it was. Right, okay. No sign of Rossman. 
Not sure quite where he's got himself to. Okay, now I'm at the upper level of the reactor. Okay, now I can make it through here. Oh, can I actually... Ooh. Hang on, what does this even do? How can this terminal help you today? It does nothing. Right, possibly at some point in development there was a plan. You can actually, like, turn off the reactor and save the vault and that was like a non-standard game over or something. Uh, but sadly, it doesn't do anything. So... Right, maybe we don't come into the reactor. This is a silly place, especially when I've got no rad away. I also just have no way of helping down poor Aaron Jin. Which is very harsh, really, because if he's been strung up by the Enclave, he is kind of on our side. But there's just nothing I can do about that, so... Sorry. Have a nice life. Uh, I guess we'll go well. Let's try the elevator. If the elevator doesn't work, then... At that point, we probably want to be, yeah, going back that way and entering that little pipe system that might let me skip upstairs. All right, elevator, everybody in, everybody in the elevator, or just Jamie, either is fine. Uh, I'm so sorry, I'd love you guys to get in, but apparently you're not, okay, hang on, hang on, I'm just going to get out and push. Get in the elevator. Nobody left behind, even if I have to... Push Jennifer Hale Barbie in here myself. All right. There we flipping go. Activate the controls. Activate them. Activate the controls. Okay, are we, are we going up now? Yeah, we're going up. Are we going up more slowly? All right, fine. Who ate all the pies? Now, do we have trouble here? Do we have trouble? Be careful. He might be dangerous. Alright, we've got someone up ahead, but because you've said that, that means I shouldn't shoot that person. I should speak to- Oh, blimey! Okay, now there's rad explosions. Yep, okay, do not run into the rad explosions. Hello, who are you, Ben Kurtz? It's good to see you, friend. You missed a hell of a fight. Um, who are you exactly? Because I don't remember a Ben Kurtz. No, that isn't my name. It never was. I am Kurtz of the California tribe. Okay. So, you just got booped on the head by the Enclave, and that made you remember stuff you traumatically repressed. That is bloody convenient. Not really. Only flashes. Sensations. It's like my personality just rose up out of the cracks and blew away the dream. I came here to find a way out. To find a way to win the game. And to find... The girl. Okay. Well, Evanson was the guy who knows the way out, so I really hope you didn't murder him. And who's the girl? I'm not sure. I remember facing Chevy in the atrium. She raised her weapon at me, but I reacted before she could fire. As I heard the shot, my vision went white. I thought I was forgetting that moment, but when I opened my eyes, she was dead. My spear was shoved through her chest, and the two with her were leaning against the walls. Um, okay. That didn't happen. That was a lie, and I'm glad the game's willing to acknowledge that, and that isn't just a mistake. So, yeah, most definitely, I was the one that killed her. That's impossible. I remember her eyes glazing over as she slid off the blade. Unless she's a demon, and she can return from the dead. Or you're nuts, hence, you know, the circle of corpses and body paint. It's the way I decided to handle these patriots. I heard there were 30 of them. Two surrendered, I took out five, 15 died downstairs. I think you get the picture. I wear these red marks to represent the rivers of my tribe. If you're willing, we may find them along our journey. Right. I'm guessing you're coming with me then. You seem like you're good in a fight. That'll be fine. You're right. We should go before the vault begins to collapse. All right. So this is all good stuff. And these guys have... Ooh, riot shields. Marvelous. Help myself to all of this good stuff here. Also, I can't help but notice that you did mention that two surrendered and you killed five. Which would suggest the number of corpses here of the Enclave ought to be... Either five or seven, depending on what happened to the two that surrendered. But there's six. Eight corpses total. Two Vault 18 security officers who are on our side. And then six bodies. So, did you, like, kill one of the ones that surrendered, but let the other one go? 
All right, fine, whatever. Ah, and exactly as I suspected. So, the main door through to maintenance is now locked. So that means we now need to loop down this bottom way through the cave. And I've already been there, so I know where we're going. This is all fine. And I think I know which way we want to go here. We want to dive in, then we want to immediately turn... We want to go... Yeah, we want to go left. Right leads into the big cavern. Left leads us round to the computer lab. And we do need to go round... Sorry, the robotics lab even. And we need to go round that way. Because I have got a mega amazing killbot choose your own adventure thing to pick up. And also Kira, who I think I like. So we'll get her too. Right, so Kira is gone. And she took her mattress with her. Which is fascinating. Uh, okay. Where else are we going here? I'm guessing we just... Just hang on a second here. One robot, please. I am Attention. Reactor self-destruct initiated. Please proceed to the nearest headset. Repeat. Reactor self-destruct initiated. Please evacuate to Vault 18. Okay, I approve the fact she wants to use lethal force and be my adventure buddy. I'm not sure I'm so keen on the voice. Maybe you could just be like a quiet robot dog. Okay, good. Now she's just saying woof woof. Marvellous. And I've picked up the... Ah, the search and mark perk. Beautiful. Also, let's talk about your tactics. I'm guessing you just rush at things and bite them. Switch to a melee weapon. I always use ranged weapons. Do you have ranged weapons? Oh, oh. Lasers unavailable. Oh, she doesn't have lasers. That's a shame. Right, so that's one robot who's... Yep, following me around. Uh, next up... Giant, yes, hello, giant killbot. That's right, you know what we're after. Right, power down that force field, please. Hello, Alpha. And yep, yep, 1011 to you too. And with signs of 65, Alpha, initiate runtime, B6, line cool, or whatever that says exactly. And success. Right, and now I would like you to be a combat companion equals one. Marvellous. So, yep, yeah, set Enclave as hostile. Spot on. So, he's willing to accept that too. And are you now following me, giant killbot? Oh, I've got a giant killbot who thinks the Enclave are the enemy. Spot on. Flipping on. Also, apparently the Guardian of Vault 18 just gets plus 10 guns and plus 2 damage threshold. So, that's nice. Alright, bypass the broken door at this point and... Oh, Evanson. No, it's Rossman. Oh, are you going to dramatically dive to tell me one last thing? Hey, kid. They got me pretty good. I was trying to get to the robots. They can fight Bragg better than I can. But I... I didn't make it. Where are you going? Outside, to be honest. Mainly because, you know, this place is about to explode. So, uh, yep, yeah, I'm the Guardian of Vault 18, so I can try and stabilize you, I guess. Ugh. It's in my right lung. I made it this far. Then I passed out. I'm not gonna make it, kid. I know the signs. This is my grave. You gotta fight your way through this. I'll be okay. Is there any chance that you would like to, you know, impart one final half secret and then die halfway through telling it? Because that is kind of traditional at this moment. Also, yeah, medicine of 40. I might be able to sort you out. No, don't try to be smart, kid. I'm old. You got to save your resources. You got to watch out for yourself and your people. Where you're going... Ain't nobody gonna tell you that twice. So what you're saying is, I need to watch out for myself and my people, apart from you, who is most definitely one of my people, you I have to leave behind. So watch out for myself and my people, unless they're old or injured, in which case, screw it, just leave them behind at the earliest opportunity. I feel like you're not giving me a good moral message here. And yeah, any final advice? Because I dug into your scout pass, so I know you're actually, yeah, pretty worldly. No, baby. You got this. This is your time. You got everything you need to get by. Just keep your head the way I told you, and you'll do just fine. You gotta go outside now. It won't be your first time. It'll all come back to you out there. Your first instinct 
is the only advice you need. Okay, one, why did you just call me baby? Why did you have to make your dying breath speech weird? And two, I was brought back to this vault as a small child, all right? Me and my siblings couldn't even remember the outside world. We were brought back here as, like, babies or infants or something. It's not going to come back to us. We weren't doing very well at the time. We were huddling, dying, starving to death when we were found a Okay, this was a terrible dying speech. And, ooh, I get to say, don't you die on me. Marvelous. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. Listen. Give me your pit boy. There. There's a town called Pinehaven at this point. Up the road to the north is a little house. I got some old friends that live there. You can take cover with them. Tell them what happened here. I'll... I'll stay here and uh, watch over the vault for you. All right, got myself a map mark. Ooh, do I actually have a world map at this point? I didn't even really bother looking. Not yet. Not yet, but there is one somewhere. Right, and we've got ourselves... Are you guys just hilariously banging on the door? <laughs> Marvellous. Also, you're very dead as well. We'll just be having all of your stuff. Good, good, good. Anything else before we leave? Well, we can help ourselves to... Ooh, yes, medical supplies. Marvellous. All right. This door opens, get ready for anything. Norman, you know what to do. Keep them off the civilians at all costs. I want you and your companions to book it for the main gate. No fighting, no waiting. Just get out of here. We'll keep them busy. Alright, so... We know there was an Enclave kill team on the way. And... Yeah, go, go, go. Let me at the front. I'm the one with the shotgun. Oh, is this going to go well or is this going to be a mess? Also, how are my robots doing on this terrain? Okay, they seem to be doing all right for the time being. And we've got ourselves... Yep, yeah, we've got some level of trouble. I'm going to flank. I'm just going to flank with my shotgun. If they just don't go for me, that's fine. Ooh, Enclave Stormtrooper. Uh-oh. Possibly I shouldn't have done that. Right. Maybe follow the advice. Just book it. Don't engage. All right, this time, don't flank. I'm sort of badass, but I'm not badass enough. So just use these guys as a distraction and then just try and, yeah, bypass them if we can. Except are my companion's going to be absolutely torn to, torn to shreds here. No, they're not hostile to me. <laughs> For some reason, they're not hostile to me. They're hostile to everyone else in this vault, but, but not me. Also, I'll just steal your medical supplies, I guess. And all your ammo, and your stim packs, and your... Ooh, I can turn on the turrets. That might help. Right, so register current user as friendly, or disable it. Okay, so I can't turn it on the Enclave by the looks of it. That's a shame, but that should be enough to get me past any turrets that are floating around. Good. Now, where am I actually supposed to be going here? Because, yeah, there's some form of fight going on. Ah, is it... Okay. Screw the Enclave, just run straight past them. Uh, guys, are we, are we cool? Yeah, I think we're cool. I think we're cool. Just basically ignore them, because for some reason they're happy to ignore us. So, I think everyone else died. And yes, here we go. Very important. The turrets are not gonna try and stop us. Except, I'm not sure they would've tried to stop us anyway, because the Enclave were not hostile to me. Despite the fact I've been murdering a lot of them, I'm not sure whether that was a mistake or not. They're maybe supposed to be hostile, who knows. Anyway, we can just walk straight past this and uh, we've made it. We have made it out of the flipping vault. Let's see what awaits us here. And apparently it is uh, the pass. All right, everyone outside, everyone, oh dear. There's more trouble yet. Right, live free or die has been done. Um, Who's out there? There's an enclave officer and that's that's my dog. Who are the Enclave fighting, precisely? Because they're, uh-oh. Who are you? You seem like you're in a big hurry, Vault Dweller. What's the rush? Okay, this feels like a bad guy to me. Because he's wearing spiked tires as shoulder pads. So, yeah, you're one of the raiders from Athens. You, like, live in a big old uranium quarry or something. Biggest raider faction in the wasteland. NCR worried about you, though there has been a temporary ceasefire. So, uh, what exactly are you guys doing here? Psychos, you mean? Yeah, 
That's us. Now I'm asking nicely, why are you out here? Vault about to explode, probably bad for people standing nearby. Well, then you'd better get running. And yep, he's oh blimey, there's there's also vertebrates. Are you guys are you landing or are you like evacuating people? I don't know. Also don't want any of this stuff. Call definition in. Oh I've got five minutes and it all goes horribly, horribly wrong. Got it. We've got ourselves a Enclave Officers Detonation. Right, probably should get out of here really. Um where do I want to be going? So I've got a couple of options here. Blast radius, so reach a safe distance. Night in Pinehaven, continue to Pinehaven. Okay, uh, let's move over to that. So that's apparently in that direction. So if we were to just follow the road and there's the Athens Tech Uranium Pit. Okay, so the world's not like properly full open by the looks of it. It looks like it's just, yeah, a little bit more structured, a bit more like Honest Hearts, say. Yeah, this is probably the direction I want to be going in in that case. Let's just start heading in this direction. And once again, the Enclave seem pretty chill about me, to be honest. They just don't seem to be fast in the slightest... Uh-oh. Is that, is that helicopter being bombed? And if so, who by? Who's got the firepower to bomb the flipping Enclave? Right, Black Bear National Forest. This seems like this would probably be leading in the right direction. Is everyone still with me, by the way? Yeah, I've got one hell of a team. I've got a surprisingly large amount of companions for a nerd with incredibly low charisma, but uh, here we flipping go, I suppose. So priority now is just yet. Yeah, keep moving. Avoid trouble if we can. I've got to get out of the blast radius, which is... Uh, okay, didn't seem like it was... Oh, hello. Who are you? That's a survivalist raider whose gun is kind of floating vaguely close. No, he was dropping it. He was dropping it because he was dead. But yeah, the Enclave seemed to be... Not hostile to me, which is, oh, and now, yeah, everything's exploding. This is fine. This is all fine. I'll take the high road and try and stay away from the, oh, bloody hell. Try and stay away from the Enclave just in case they change their minds. And you, I, I can't hear you. You don't have subtitles on. Why haven't you got subtitles? I've turned general subtitles on already. Yeah, general subtitles are supposed to be on. Gen Hale just apparently doesn't really play by the rules, damn it. And we're already almost clear. Lovely. So this would apparently be a safe spot right here. So this is resetting itself as the main quest every time a minute passes. So plenty of time. Okay, so we found ourselves a gas station right here. Core destination is imminent. Jen! Jen, do not flipping hang about. Oh, blimey. Back, back, back. Everyone inside. I love how Alpha just doesn't care. He just stands outside, just accepting the nuclear explosion. Great! So we made it! Good! Any chance that gets me up to level 5? Not quite. Alright. Now, is everybody okay? And also, is everybody... Oh, moving. hello. This place won't be free of radiation for long. So, simmer down. A lot of good people just died. Uh, and those clouds make it seem like there's cesium-137 and strontium-90. Wow! Intelligent 7 is quite intelligent, because I don't know what any of that means. Uh, probably we should go now, fair enough. I agree. The radiation is already beginning to fall this way. We should move before it reaches us. With any luck, we'll stay ahead of it. Dr. Rossman had friends at a house just west of here at the top of a mountain. Your science literacy should come in handy along our journey. It's impressive that you can keep it in your mind in spite of what just happened. All right, fair enough. I don't feel like... No, I do feel like a badass. I've been shotgunning so many people in the face. It's great. That's because you're experiencing the same battle fatigue I am. It isn't a pleasant sensation, I assure you. Come on, follow the map marker Dr. Rossman set in your pit boy. We can rest the safe house until this wears off. I'll follow your lead. Right, I'll check in with everybody when we actually get there in that case. So, we've now got ourselves... Ah, good, that's already updated. So, we are heading... Due south. There's Black Bear Lodge right there. Before we actually go, any chance we can use any of the rest of it? Okay, fine. This place seems uh, pretty empty. Alpha, you better not be about to block the door. Good. Good robot. Right. Time to get the hell out of here. And is everyone else armed, by the way? I haven't actually bothered handing out guns. I probably should have handed out guns by now. And yeah, we've got ourselves a world that is not quite as full of plants as Fallout 76, but definitely 
a lot more planty than you might expect from typical Fallout. Lots more grass and all of that business. And I did just see a great big laser shot coming from over there. So, who's fighting? Because sooner or later, someone is going to be hostile. That's just a bloke fly. That's just a... Okay, so we've just got some basic day-to-day -day nature going on here. That's fine. Right, lads, uh, we're going to need to take out some wildlife here. So are you guys going to... Yes, Alpha is going to help out. Good stuff here. Basic rad scorpion is... Okay, Alpha is actually killing these guys before I can get to them. <laughs> better and flipping better. Marvellous. And, oh, apparently the dog is... Okay, so I don't need to... You know, I'm just going to put the shotgun away. My robots have clearly got this. Ah, here we go. Pinehaven and also little robot here. Hello, Enclave iBot. You don't seem hostile to me because the entire Enclave doesn't. Maybe the Enclave isn't hostile because there's still a chance to join their faction. That's possible. Also, okay. <laughs> Behind me, my team is just basically murdering everything for me. It's marvellous. I don't even need to bother. So, we've found the town of Pinehaven. Very, very small town indeed. How close are we right now to where I need to go? Well, that's Pinehaven. Possibly that's just a marker to get me as far as Pinehaven. And Black Bear Lodge is actually where I need to go proper. So, okay. Heading to town and something just shot me. Guys, avenge me immediately. Thank you. Now, we've got some bad things in this town. But yeah, so far this all seems very manageable. As long as you've just brought a handful of help with you. So, who are you guys? Uh, I've got ourselves one vicious dog here. Oh, I'm very sorry, puppy. But you need to go down. And a couple of shotguns, which I'm actually pushing directly through my shield. Which is quite frankly impressive. Uh, and yeah, we've got search and mark, which is very, very useful indeed. So when I kill things, uh, I can actually see their corpses kind of glowing a little bit. Lovely. Right. Now, does Pinehaven actually have anything worth looting? Or do we want to move straight on? Also, is that the updated marker I was expecting? Not just yet. Looks like there might be... A standing building or two over in this direction. So let's just check if there's any survivors or locals. No, that's just a boarded up shop. Couple of caravans. That house is open. Guys, if you wouldn't mind just, yep, finishing off all of those guys for me. Thank you. I'll just save the ammo, quite frankly. Right. Have a little quick shufty round. See if we can find anything of interest. Well, best as I can tell, not a single thing to loot in the entire town. In fact, I couldn't even find, like, a single crate. So, uh, okay. Let's go find the marker. And I'm guessing the marker's going to update to uh, my next destination. Here we go. I've officially now discovered Pinehaven. Great. Except Pinehaven ain't all. Hello. So continue to Pinehaven to rest off your fatigue or explore the valley beyond in search of rest. Hello, we've got ourselves. Ah! Kira! Oh, I'm so sorry, I totally forgot about you! Except, in offense, wait, how did you even get out before me? Hello, Kira! Well, look who it is. The Chief Girl Scout. Did they have to drag you out of that hole by your hair? I just lost my whole family, Kira. We're all that's left. Oh, yeah? Well, I lost mine a long time ago. I've always been alone. And now that I'm out here, I like it that way. Uh-oh. Are we about to have trouble? Kira? What are you doing? I don't see why you should live. You're no good to me, you waste space, and I don't like you. Kira, you shoot her, you're dead. You want to play by wasteland rules, then know that numbers always win. The house we're headed to is up ahead. You can either join us or stay here and rot. Your choice. The house is this way. Follow me. Holy shit! I never thought I was going to see you again. When I left the vault and started walking away, I had no idea there was anyone left. How did you get out? The main doors were all shut, and I sealed the way behind me as I left. How exactly did you leave, actually? How did you get out? And also, I get that you don't like Jen, but yeah, immediately pointing guns at her? Not cool. Just... look. No matter how far from the vault we may get, Jen Hale is a twat, and I want nothing to do with her. Wait, how did you just pronounce the word twat? Because that's that's not even... Okay, fine. 
Fine, whatever. You don't like Jen Hale. Got it. I don't know how I feel about Jen Hale. She refused to speak to me and then, like, in all fairness, I only got her out because the game said get people out, so I got people out. I don't know, like, what she's like. You don't seem to like her. I don't really know much about you either, to be perfectly honest. So, you know what? You just stay on the opposite side of the room from each other. I'll decide who I like down the line. So, you're the mighty leader then, eh, tough girl? Newsflash. We're in hell. We don't have any directions. There are no rules. All right, so Kira is starting to not impress me with her declaration a couple of seconds outside of the vault. There's no rules. I can just shoot anyone I want now. No, bad Kira, no biscuit. And unfortunately, I've got no option but strength. And I don't have enough strength to impress her. So, oh no, does this mean we don't travel around with Kira? Is that it then? Just trying to puff up your chest, little mother hen? Look, I don't care whatever relationship we may have started in the past, but it's dead now. The whole world we knew is gone. And now, so am I. I'm walking in that direction, away from you, away from that little twat, and I'm going to make it just fine on my own. Okay, who told this voice actress that you pronounce twats like that? You don't. It's, it's with an A. You just, it's pronounced exactly as it looks from the letters. And unfortunately... Yeah, because you can't go into your pit boy and, like, do... Kira. Kira, I'm good. Okay, there we are. She recovered. She recovered. Her badass moody walking off got a bit interrupted by her walking straight into a pipe. But she recovered nicely from that. Well done. Just walk it off, Kira. Pretend it didn't happen. Well, okay. I guess we'll have to decide whether Jen was worth it in that case. Because uh, had we actually left Jen in the vault or not got her out, then maybe we'd have a Kira right now. But to be honest... Jen so far has not done anything to offend me. Kira, not so keen on her attitude of, there's no rules, I can murder who I want. Also, who's the, who's the other person down here? The game is marking a neutral in this direction. No, that's Kira. And we're not murdering her, despite the fact she's got a big, nice gun. Because we might run into her again later. Who are the neutrals around here? Because I've got two yellow ticks on the compass. Hello? Who have we got? Who have we got? Wait, what? There's totally two yellow ticks on the compass that ain't my- Ooh! Bork? Are you feeling okay, Bork? Okay, Bork's not feeling great. Hopefully Bork will, will figure that out. Was it just you two? Were you just stuck inside this building for no well-explained reason? Possibly you were right. Possibly you guys just got stuck here. That's fine then. Let's be on our way towards that village. And is there anything en route? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, Kira's walking in that direction. Me and the robots are going in. Wait, where's the rest of the... Where's the rest of the team? Did they just all run off with Jen? Oh, lardy flipping da. They did as well. They ran ahead with Jen. What a bunch of bastards. Now this, of course, is where we're probably going to start seeing, yeah, how good this mod actually is. Because it's one thing to create a little adventure within a vault where everything can be very structured and in corridors and all of that business. But creating a big open world that's interesting and which looks good and which is populated in an interesting fashion and which, you know, very gently and organically just, you know, very carefully moves you towards logical objectives but rewards exploration... That's hard to do. That's very, very difficult to do well. So I'll be very interested to see what happens to the quality of the mod now that we're actually out in an open world because this is difficult. Ah, right. Everyone's still here. Jen, do you want to have a word with me about Kira or are you going to wait till we're inside? I don't really want to talk right now. Let's just go to the place Dr. Rossman told us about. All right, let's start off there in that case, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll have a catch up with all our companions uh, once we find our way in here. Now, is this it, by the way? Is this Black Bear Lodge? I'm guessing it is. So, Black Bear National Forest, yeah, Black Bear Lodge. So, <laughs> Alpha wants to go inside first. Honestly, if all of you want to just run away, leave me alone, abandon me, that's fine. I've got Alpha, I've got Bork, I'm very, very happy indeed. So... All right, guns away. Who are the friends that Rossman mentioned precisely? Yeah? Anyone know where his friends might be? Am I the one who's supposed to speak so, first? Oh, never mind. This is all of us. We're all that's left. There were so many of us running through the caverns. 
Someone else must have made it. I didn't see anyone else after we took out the turrets. I think the Enclave got them. Well, those freaks outside, who the hell were they? Looks like they were kicking the Enclave's ass. All right, no one else got anything to say at the minute? Right, time for me to check in with you guys. Okay, so Ben, you seem the one who's like most with it and most knows what's going on because you're having extremely bloody convenient flashbacks. So I'll speak to you first, but before I do that, we've actually got ourselves... Ah, so we might actually have ourselves some notes here. Jill Hale. Now, by any chance, is that like going to be Jen Hale's mum or something? Well, let's read them before we speak to her in that case. Ooh, but first, oh, ammo, 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 including hollow point. Hollow point rounds, which are very, very useful indeed. Oh, this is good stuff. Right, hunting lever action. No, I've got the riot shotgun, that's fine. That's a couple of hunting rifles. Okay, grab them, repair them together. Grab all of that business. I just picked up the pistol as well. Varmint rifle. I can do without the varmint rifle. I've got plenty of guns and plenty of ammo. I just want to check around for any other notes first. Because, yeah, there was there was a mention of friends that lived in this house. Kind of feels like there's nobody here, actually. There's... Ooh. There is a trap, though. Which I think I already triggered by accident. But it doesn't seem to have murdered me. So that's good. Yeah, there we are. So hunting rifle takes 308. Damage 43. Not bad, really. Probably my best weapon to extreme range at the moment. Right, shotgun. I do have some max charge microfusion cells uh, for Rossman's thing, which is pretty good. And one vault ball, because I just do. It's quite valuable. I'll sell it down the line. Oh, yes. And the damage thresholds are back, so I can now actually verify. So this thing has got a damage threshold of 8 for a weight of 15 and guns plus 5. Versus the armor, that's damage threshold of 10. For weight 15, no benefit, and the condition's not very good. Right, we'll keep this, and we'll just sell it in, like, the first town we get to. I'll keep it for now. Right, that seems to be all the notes. Let's figure out what we can learn about Jen's mum before we actually do anything else here. Oh, yes, and also Project Brazil development note, which I totally forgot to read earlier. So, Bragg, you and your sister head to Vault 18. We remote shut down their water chips, get in there and break it. We need more bodies. They're the last ones before we bug out to Chicago. Get it done. Signed, Autumn. Okay. Nothing too major about Project Brazil, really. Just, yeah, they were wanting to acquire... Well, what were they wanting to acquire? I mean, they say bodies, but they seem to have been killing a lot of people if they just wanted manpower. Ah, except the manpower they were trying to acquire was, of course, the Patriot Army they raised. But it went a bit wrong because those guys lost and the survivors got blown up. Fine, gotcha. And the first note from Jill Hell refers to Catherine. So, okay, let's start off with uh, Catherine's note in that case. So, note for Wasteland Scouts. I'm sure you're busy on another adventure. If you find these supplies, we could use them. Stapler, fishing battery. Ah, so Dr. Rossman's wife, who... Uh, I don't believe it was in the vault, so not sure what happened to her. Yeah, just basically passed a shopping list to the scouts. And I'm going to assume, therefore, that Jill Hale, like Dr. Rossman, was a scout. Catherine found a grove of toadstools growing nearby. If we can use Kevin's radiation strainer downstairs, we can fix you a stew. If Yeti comes by, tell him we're down the hill. Hart, Jill Hale, Wasteland Scout, proud new ground martyr, little Jen Hale. Oh, that's bloody convenient. Thank you for letting me know exactly what your relationship is to Jen. So, Jen's grandmother was a scout. Fine. Nothing major about that yet. We just know they went outside and were pretty badass. Ah, now here's interesting. So, a few years later, NCR came by and they were basically forced to hand over supplies. They lied about where it came from. But here's the thing. I know we're supposed to be independent from the vault. It's getting harder to keep up vigilance in the valley from this lodge. So, the people who... Wait, are these technically the Exodites? Because I thought the Wasteland Scouts and the Exodites were two different groups, two different things that occurred. So, she was a Scout. And because she was the grandmother to Jen, that was just she was from an earlier generation. Like, it was their children that were the Exodites, who were inspired by what the Scouts had done the generation before that. Right? Well, in any case... Yeah, the scouts were supposed to be independent. They didn't just go out of the vault. They effectively lived outside the vault and weren't supposed to be eating vault supplies at all. 
And one more note a few years later, yeah, trouble with the NCR, or rather trouble the NCR had stirred up. So they do a lot of cleaning up, but they don't really finish off Red Tribes, they just drive them away, and sometimes they run straight into the territory close by to Vault 18. Gotcha. Nothing too dramatic there, to be honest. As I say, let's start with Ben. He seems to have a good head on his shoulders, and very conveniently seems to, like, you know, remember what's going on in the world. I thought I already had my Pip-Boy light on there. Your face is very shiny and bright. It seems our companions have finally settled down. Hopefully they'll get some rest before moving on. Right, so... What are we going to do next exactly? Yeah, where are the owners? Because Rossman implied there were some friends who were alive who actually, like, you know, owned this place and might help us. I have a feeling they didn't live through the winter. I'd check out back and see what you can find in the garden. If the soil is tilled, then they've left recently. Alright, fine. I like Ben. Good head on his shoulders. Fine. So, uh, yeah, where would we go now? Do you happen to remember, like, where anything else is? You should head to bed if everything else is taken care of. Alright, well don't do that just yet. Let's actually follow his advice. So, outside we've got ourselves... Ah! We've got ourselves a grave. Uh, any chance I've got myself... I've got myself a highly convenient shovel. In fact, it's a magic shovel doing a little dance. So, open the grave up. Got some hydra. Fine. So, at least one person is dead. No, no, bad dog. Put the bones down. Yeah, it kind of feels like one person died and possibly the other person abandoned the place at that point. There's not much sign anyone's been here recently. Aside from a small stockpile of firewood, which might indicate someone's been around here. Right, next up, Jen. Don't know much about you, aside from the fact that Kira absolutely flipping despises you. So, yeah. What do we do next with you? And do you care about the fact your grandmother was a scout? Hey, thank you for saving me in the vault. I really appreciate the way you treated me back there. I would have just stayed down in that room until... Well, I'd be dead if not for you. Thank you. Alright, lovely. So, uh, apparently, she's good at luck picking and charisma. She doesn't have a personality, but she does have a couple of skills. So, you know what? One step forwards, one step back, it's fine. So, uh, any chance you're willing to stick with me if I want you to for... Yeah, actually, charisma. I kind of could use someone who's very charismatic who can sweet talk people, because not really my strong suit. Yeah, I suppose I can help that way. I just need to get some sleep. I'm sure you do too. Alright, fine. Anything else I can say to you, by the way? Hey, thank you for- Okay, that's the same thing we've already heard. Fine, and... Uh, yeah, we'll talk later. Fine. She doesn't want to talk just yet. Right, next up, Jamie. I like you, Jamie. You seem pretty decent. And I think you were the person who said, yeah, he deserved it when I murdered Matheson. So, me and you, we understand each other, I think. Hey, Eric and I were discussing our plans for the future. Where to go from here? And any chance you're willing to actually work with me here? And, ah, with high speech, I could get you to hang out with me. But thankfully... I am the guardian of Vault 18, so I can actually hopefully swing you by anyway. So, you're good at repairs, and Eric's good at survival. So, not really sure how much survival we're going to need, because I'm not playing on hardcore mode. And I'm actually very good at repairing myself, but no reason to scare people off immediately. Yeah, how would you like to be part of the team anyway? Of course, we're with you. Though, I think we can all use some rest before we go any further. Alright, works for me. And Eric, do I actually have to say anything to you? Or are you like, no, Eric and Jamie are deemed to be like a pair. They'll always just travel around together. And the robots don't have any flipping drama. They don't fling insults at each other. They just follow me because they're good robots. You know what, actually, screw all of you. I'm just going to travel around with my robots. That's fine. And one other very useful, interesting bit of advice from Ben here... Just one. Find any food and water left in the cellar and distribute it to our companions. They need it as much as you do. And lastly, if you haven't found a suitable change of clothes, you should scavenge what you can. Any one of us still wearing a vault suit gives away our origin. That may not be in our best interest as we meet strangers along the road. Very, very interesting indeed. So, uh, we should all change clothing. Even though I've actually got decent vault armor here, yeah. Not one of us should actually keep it for the time being. And there are some extra clothes here as well. So, uh, Robco, Ranger... Right! 
I'm just going to take all the clothes and decide which one I like best for a second. Right, say hello to the new me with the Ranger Vest outfit. I'm still going to keep the Riot Shield. Oh, it does literally have Vault 18 security written on it. That's a bit of a shame. Fine, we'll take that off. But I will still wear goggles and eyeglasses as a double feature because that's pretty damn cool. Now, he also just mentioned a cellar. He said go to the cellar. And then distribute food and water because everyone's going to need it. Which I'm not sure if that's actually, like, true. Ah, there we are. There is a cellar. Right, shotgun out just in case. I'm pretty sure I just heard the plink of a trap. Guys, back away. I think I just tripped a tripwire. Yeah, I totally heard a tripwire. It just... It wasn't actually attached to anything. Right, okay. Watch out for additional tripwires. We've got ourselves... Ah, Notes. More from Jill Hale and Pinehaven Terminal. Now what do we have? Ah, Vault 18 server net. User Andrew Skulls Senator. Hello there, what is going on here? Now I'm not sure what we should think about this, but apparently this terminal was used as a proxy for another terminal located in Union City, California. Net admin Orion's girl, which is the girl we were chatting to. Now, does that mean potentially she's not who she said she was. If there happens to be a very convenient relay, she said she was, maybe she isn't. Okay, we'll leave that alone for the time being. Also, what's a Watts 2000? And also, oh, guns and bullets. Nice, nice, sexy stuff here. Together with, oh, tons of grenades. More flipping notes from Jill Hale. More flipping ammo. Locksmith's reader. Bobby pins. And look for traces of the house's inhabitants. Talk to Ben about the owners. Well, they certainly seem prepared for a fight or something at some point. And I was also supposed to grab... There's not much water down here, to be honest. I was supposed to go and, like, grab supplies, but there's barely any. You know what? I'm going to hand people some water anyway, just in case. Also, I love how everyone else just sits around upstairs doing nothing but eating pies. Or rather, waiting for me to fetch pies for them so they can eat the pies. The robots, they come with me. I like the robots. So, the Watts thing is microfusion cells. Is that like a sniper rifle that uses microfusion cells? Is that what we're looking at right now? Okay, not exactly got much zoom on it, but it does appear to be that, yes. Uh, in which case, do I care about that thing? DPS 48... No, I'd rather just use Rossman's rifle. It seems to be better. It doesn't have iron sights, but... It just seems to be better in every single way. So, screw it. We'll just actually leave this be. It's very heavy for something I'm not going to be using. Also, I really hope I find a town soon. Because I've got a lot of very, very good quality 10mm pistols I need to sell. Right, Ben. So, it turns out that the inhabitants were, yeah, armed. And set up traps that weren't actually traps. And may have also been pretending to be running an online dating site. It's all a little bit unclear, to be honest. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so first let's tell them about the grave. Add another tragedy to the list. I read their notes. You can find them on the shelves in the bedroom. It seems they were being tracked by an invisible demon. Eventually it found them here. They fought it, but Catherine didn't survive. The old man decided it was best to bury her here and set off to try and find it to take revenge. It said he travels light and assumes he'll never return. The damage to this house is from a weapon the demon used. I doubt with that kind of firepower it needs their supplies which is why we found them here. Okay, I read all the notes in the bedroom and none of that was in those notes. And apparently, though I didn't actually remember this, one of the terminals, the many, many, many terminals I read in the vault, did actually mention the Nightskin. So, yeah, confirmation it was one of them. Then the demon has a name. All the better to call it out and kill it if we ever cross its path. We should set traps outside tonight to be safe. There are mines in the cellar. You may want to place them by the road. After that... You should get some rest. You haven't recovered from your fatigue yet. It gets worse the longer you stay awake. Okay, Ben is being a little bit of a drama queen, it must be said. We don't need to know its name so we can scream it while killing it, Ben. We just need to lay some flipping traps, alright? Chill out. And yeah, I've got the mines. We just said, lay them by the road, spot on. Ah, but the notes from Jill Hale are interesting all of a sudden. We got a new visitor from LA, weird woman... Green glowing eye gave us a haul of pre-war food, promised to stay a few nights, help us fix up the house. Okay, interesting. And she had a ghoulish friend as well, built a walkway for us to get up the steps where the old road collapsed from erosion outside the house. Very, very nice indeed. 
but she called herself a Nai. She said she's a mercenary hunting enclave. Hope you know who she is. She knew an awful lot about the 18. Yeah, possibly I helped her with that. But then again, ooh, she could have been lying. She says she's hunting Enclave. That's a good sign. And now we have a very clear distinguishing characteristic by which to identify her. Look for someone with a glowing green eye, which I guess means like a little cybernetic eye or something. And there in the other note we found in the basement is mention of the Night Kin. Got it. Except there's a bit more detail as well. The demon was looking for someone and it mentioned Project Brazil. Why would a Night Kin be interested in this project? And that's what happened to Catherine. She was presumably the body in the ground. And tell Jen I miss her dearly. I hope this letter finds you well. I love you, Yeti, Kevin, and Dale. I see you don't right. Any right. chance I can tell you about this? Because it's it's pretty important I tell you about this. And no, no, I just can't. Fine. Right. Nip downstairs and grab those mines I missed. So they said lay the mines on the road. So, I'm guessing they mean, like, here. Is this the only way to get up? Is this, like, a bit of a dead end up in this direction? It doesn't look like it. It looks like you might be able to find a different way to get here, but... Okay, fine. I will do as the game suggested and lay some frag mines down on the road just in case the Nightkin comes back. Nobody else detonates those, please. Nobody else detonates them. Right, mindset, anyone coming up the road or coming along this path will now be blown up by a mine, which hopefully will stop trouble in the night. And just in case, I'm going to keep the right shotgun out just to be prepared. Right, next up, when I'm ready, go to bed, by the sounds of it. So, uh, can I just sleep in? Yep, this bed is absolutely fine. So, there we go. Are you ready to go to bed? Make sure you haven't forgotten anything as tomorrow begins a new chapter, leaves any unfinished business behind forever. Any followers that have not been recruited will leave during your sleep. Okay, I'm just going to speak to the robots, just to be sure. So, talk to you. I don't need to, like, recruit you or anything, right? You're fine. And, no, that all seems to be fine. Right, good. So, I think that's everybody on board. Lovely. So, shotgun goes away. I presumably just settle down to sleep and... Uh, do we get new cutscene? Because sometimes we get cutscenes, like, after transitions to black. Oh. Maybe. Well, we get explosions. But any chances that the night can exploding? Did I do a good thing laying out the mines? Or possibly just having a nightmare of my family being blown up in front of me. One or the other. Could be any of the above. Okay. What's going on, Bam? Finally, you're awake. I was worried your restlessness was more than just a fever dream. It seems trouble has found us. We have to get ready. Okay. Is it the night, Kim, by any chance? There are raiders coming up the road. They were carrying torches, so we spotted them. They saw a silhouette in the window. Now they're calling us out. All right. That's absolutely fine. So you try and outflank them, Ben. Good plan. I'll try to get into a position around back. You watch the front. All right, one more battle. Let's flip and do this. We've now got ourselves a team. I've got a good gun. I should probably put my Volt Armor straight back on again, to be honest. You can try to talk them down, or we can try and fight. Talk to us. We know you're all up there. Come on out now. We might let y'all live. I think that's our cue to respond. Set up along the door and see what you can do. All right, now we probably could fight. Okay, dog, dog, you're in the dog, 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 out of the way, dog. Right, kill the raiders or talk to their leader. Let's give talking a go first. And if it goes wrong, Ben's covering me from a flanking position. Everything will be fine. Shotguns out just in case, though. Now, where are they precisely? And also, I will be taking the robots with me. So you guys are all the way over there, are you? So I'm guessing. Captain Jackson is your leader. So, it's quite a lot of people here. This is going to be a bit of a mess if it goes wrong. So, I really hope I've got the speech for this. Hello there, Jackson. Do we want to chat? So, you're the one Nas told us to be on the lookout for. Boz had no idea that old vault was still up there. Shame it went the way it did. Now, I'm only going to ask you this once. 
Where is Dr. Rossman? He is very, very, very dead. And I wonder if that's just an instant free kill. It might be against him, but he is surrounded by other people with guns. So, uh, bad idea. And, uh, I mean, honestly, I don't see why I'd lie about that. Rossman is dead and the vault is exploded. It doesn't matter one way or the other. Hmm, is that so? Now listen here, Pip. I've been hunting that savage nerd for 10 years, and you're gonna tell me that jerk-off brag nailed him in one shot? Do you know how many of my men have shot Rosman and reported him dead? He always comes back. Always! Now where the hell is he? Well, he's down in the vault, so... Okay, may as well ask what he actually wants with him. I want him dead. He's killed countless raiders over the years, cost us millions in damage and lost property, most of our woes over the past 20 years have been directly related to him. Now you're gonna tell me everything I wanna know. Right. Now with charisma of only three, I can't talk him round. Uh, I'm not telling you shit's probably a bad idea. I guess we just back off and hope this works out in that case. Shit. So what's gonna happen? Wait, what? 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 How is that? What? What did I do? How was that a plan? That wasn't a good plan. Also, I did kind of forget to put all my armor back on. So, in some ways, maybe I kind of deserved that. Right, all the armor on. <laughs> Screw that being in disguise business. Also, I do have a plasma grenade right here. And you guys are all standing very conveniently next to each other. Oh yeah, I think this could actually work pretty nicely. Yeah, I'd say 80% chance of getting a grenade on Captain Jackson. And the splash damage should be plenty enough as well. I'm just going to put the second one on too, just in case. So, grenade! And... Yeah, that seems to have cleared you bastards out, actually. And then... Wait, what? What? Oh, was that someone else being killed by the dog? Yeah, that was someone else being killed by the dog. I'm fine. I've crippled my own chest. I'm standing a bit close, but... Job done by the looks of things. Anyone else? Nope. Nice and easy. One grenade, that'll do the job. Now, let's get lockpick moving up in a positive-ish direction. Let's get guns up to at least 65. And uh, repair can actually be... You know what? Guns down to 64. That way, repair can hit 75 in case there's any skill checks. That's a good round number. And none of the rest of it. Right. Taken care of... Uh-oh. There might be there might be some more problems yet. Or maybe not. Are we good? It's time for us to get the hell out of here before more show up. Come on, down the mountain. Okay, apparently we're going to be doing that, though. Yeah, I'll grab all the supplies off the corpses first. Good idea. The road to I-15 is long. We'll need provisions. Loot the bodies and let's get moving. We might want to change our clothes, too. Any vault tech gear with the 18 on it will give us away. Yeah, you said that last time, and then I was immediately killed because I wasn't wearing my best quality armor, you bloody idiot. Right, let's just quickly have all of this, then. Though I tell you what, some of this stuff isn't bad. Damage threshold 3 on this guy's helmet. Okay. And survivalist ranger armor too. Ah, but... Hang on. Survivalist. That's also a faction. That's probably... I don't know if that's good or bad. What if more of those raiders show up? We need to get out of here. Right, no one's in a chatty mood. Instead, everyone just wants us to get the hell out of Dodge. Why do you want me to go precisely? I-15 was mentioned, which is apparently... Somewhere over here or something. And there's Athens Tech. All right. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'd say that is enough for now. We have escaped the vault. We've managed to actually, I'd say, bring a decent damn haul of weapons and armor and all sorts of business with me, which is just absolutely flipping marvelous. And we've got ourselves a decent sized team, including charisma and repair and survivalist specialists, and also two robots who can just murder everything with lasers, who really are the most important members of all. So, we will crack on with more of this next week, so we apparently make our way along the I 15 towards. I'm not quite sure. Presumably, like, you know, California. Are we already in California? If we're already in California, like, you know, the NCR bit of California. Probably we're going in that direction. We'll see. <laughs> I've got quite the bloody large team with me. I probably don't need to actually use any ammo. These guys will take care of it for me. It'll be marvellous. We'll see about that next week, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nut. This has been Fallout New California. Thank you very much. 
and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got a... I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake, I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away, go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.